Hello friends, this is Scott, and today I'm doing a spring update on the Egyptian walking onions. In particular, we're going to show you why they call them walking onions and how they travel throughout the garden. So here's a good look at what's the growth. I did not pick any onions last year, I just let them go, and we're going to take a look at how they, how they reproduce. I will link in the description my first video on Egyptian walking onions that gave a lot more detail as to what they are. But in short, uh, Egyptian walking onions have bulbs in the ground, but they, what they do is they put the bulbs on the tip of their leaves. And then those bulbs uh, shoot out more shoots, and then they put more bulbs on the end of those shoots. And when the plant gets heavy, it tips over, and as you see, this is a cluster right here where as they hit the ground, they just reroot and, and start a whole new section of plants. So I started out with just one or two bulbs, and then in about four years, I've got this many now. Now see all this dead growth? Those are the old leaves that had bulbs on them that just tipped over. And so where these tipped over, we'll be able to see new growth and where the bulbs are, uh, are now sprouting. Now this is why they call them walking onions, because now look what we got. We have little bulb sets that are producing and they'll, they're rerouting into the ground. And then as you look out further, there's another one. And there's one I need to pick and replant, it looks like. But as we look out further, oh, what is it? It's growing into my rhubarb, it looks like. Oh, there's another one. And as we see here, you start seeing a little bit of red in the soil, but you see the, there's more right there and there's the rhubarb coming up. So I've got to move some onions because these Egyptian walking onions have walked right where I don't want them to be. But that's why they call them walking onions. They travel and they just do it naturally. Again, I didn't pick any this year. I did pick all of them the year before and I just replanted them because I wanted to thicken up my bed. And so now I'm at a point where I've got plenty and it's time for me to start eating some or getting some to friends and, and relatives or whoever wants some. Now here's a look at how they grow. Now this is the, the little bulblet flower that you'll get on the end of the leaves. And then these ex expand. And I always call it the Medusa effect, where they shoot out another stem out of the flower. And on top of that stem, you start seeing more bulbs forming. Here's a good look at it. You'll see the more shoots out of the bulbs. And then they produce more bulbs. So here's one. This shows you exactly how they, how they do this. And then when they get heavy, they touch the ground. And these are probably the ones we're looking at right now uh, that have spread out and, and rooted. And they form a nice little cluster of, of onions. Now these onions are edible. They taste like any other onion. Um, they're small. You're not going to get big onions out of these, but they're just a good supply of onions if you, uh, you'll always have them around. But here's some that landed up on the concrete, and I moved those into the soil. But here's the, what I picked the year before. That was my first year's harvest when I actually took some. Well, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you like the update. But again, check the, the uh, description for the original video if you want to know more about Egyptian walking onions. Thanks for your support, and please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thanks.